Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So those of you that don't know me, my name's Mia. Um, and I've recently started um, a makeup YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, a lot of you have been requesting lately to for me to be doing like um, a question and answer. So something a little bit different to get to know me a little bit better. Um, and I thought, why not? So... Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, a lot of you have been like DMing me on Instagram, that kind of thing, um, just kind of questions about me, um, about how I started Instagram, how I started, how I started YouTube. Loads of you have been sending me DMs into my Instagram of questions that you want me to answer, um, things how like how I started the channel, who inspired me, um, how did I learn to do makeup. How do I keep my hair so long and healthy? Just really random sort of all different questions. So if you guys want to get to know um, and learn a little bit of... <laughs> I can't speak. If you guys want to know and get to learn a little bit more about me, then please keep watching. Also make sure to subscribe and to like. Um, comment below if you want to see um, a certain video, that kind of thing. So yes. Um, I'm going to get to it and I will see you later guys. Bye. Okay, so. Nope, my password don't want to work. Got it. Okay, so I've got 25 questions here. I think it's 25, yeah. Um, they're all at random. I'm not saying any names who said that the question like answer the question that kind of thing um i'm just just i've literally just wrote them all down on my notes um i had quite a lot of questions to get through so i've kind of picked out the most popular ones that have been asked um and kind of put them into my way of saying it that kind of thing okay so number one who are my favorite youtubers my favorite youtubers would have to be um Carly Bybel, um, I'm absolutely in love with her, I think she's just amazing. Um, this question has also been asked, uh, like, who inspired me to do YouTube, and that is coming up, and I will speak a little bit more about that, but she was actually probably my first YouTube inspiration. Um, as a little girl, I used to watch her all the time. I love her videos, I think she's absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, she was probably one of, like, my biggest inspirations on YouTube, um, she inspired me a lot and yeah she's one of my favourite YouTubers. Also um, Nikki Tutorials, I think she's incredible, her makeup's just insane, um, yeah she's fab and um, another YouTuber that would have to be my favourite is probably Jacqueline Hill, um, I've just like watched her grow so much over the years, it's just incredible. Oh and one more, um, Time the Infamous, um, I'm sure that's how you say it but yeah girls you've got to check out her page she's just she's just amazing like I used to watch her all the time um she's always got different looks um different like hair pieces and things she's she's really good um so yeah they're definitely my favorite youtubers number two who inspired me to start youtube um it'd probably be those four ladies um especially Kylie Bybel because I used to watch her right back like right at the beginning when I was really young um, I even remember her like saying about how much she loved penguins and things like I know quite a lot about her so she definitely inspired me to start YouTube also um, a lot of it was probably my family as well they've always said to me you know you're quite confident behind a camera um, and that sort of stuff so they probably inspired me and encouraged me to start as well um, so yeah, just definitely family as well. Number three, how did I get into makeup? Um, to be honest with you, I've always loved makeup um, at a really young age. Um, but I probably started getting into it seriously the last maybe two, three years. Um, I'm 19 now, so yeah, probably around about that age, 16, 17 um makeup just become like a really big thing i mean it's it's been a really big thing for years but for me yeah probably the last few years so question number four how do i get so brown um <laughs> i don't actually think i'm that brown um a lot of people ask me this question um 
yeah, like I said, I don't actually think I'm that brown, but um, I do, and I shouldn't really say this because there's a lot of young girls that probably watch my channel and stuff, um, and I don't advise it at all, but I do here and there have some beds. My mum just is going to like kill me when she watches this video because <laughs> she hates she hates them like she can't stand me having them but yeah they're they're not good for you at all um but i probably have maybe one a week if that to be honest lately i haven't really been having that many but i used to use um CNRX spray tans i used to have one like religiously like every friday so yeah spray tans are a lot better for you fake tan that kind of thing um, my go-to fake tan is probably um, St. Marie's, is it St. Marie's or St. Moritz? One of the two, in dark. Um, and also Bondi Sands is amazing, that's like, a really good fake tan. Um, what else did I used to use? Oh, Models Co and Fake Bake. They're not too bad either. Um, yeah, I mean... The reason why I use sunbeds is just because obviously... It's natural, you don't smell a fake tan, that kind of thing. I can't stand the smell of it. And I also have a lot of white bedding, so <laughs> it rubs off. Um, but yeah. Number five. The best foundations and powders for flashback. Okay, so I've been asked this a lot, actually. Um, best foundations and powders. I think it really comes down to your primer and your moisturiser. So a lot of people have said to me, like, what's the best, like, what can I do to stop being so white and that kind of thing. Um, do not use an SPF in your moisturiser if you don't want to get a flashback. SPF is really good for in the day. I mean, I've got an SPF moisturiser on now. Um, but for example, I would never use, on my bridal clients, I would never use an SPF in their moisturiser, in their foundation, in their prime, that kind of thing. You just don't use an SPF because it gives you that ghost look. Um, probably, I'd say, the best foundations for not getting um, like a flashback, that kind of thing, um, would have to probably be... Um, HD foundation's really good for that. Um... Estee Lauder Double Wear is good for that. Bare Minerals, Matte Finish, uh, you know what I mean. They don't use a, it's not a liquid formula, it's a, like a powder formula. Um, that's good for that. Um, oh my god, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, sorry. Um, NARS, I believe, a lot of their foundations are good for like no flashbacks. Yeah, they're probably like my go-to if I don't want to get a flash pack. Um, also, is it Too Faced Born This Way? Yeah, I think it, I think so. Theirs is also really good. Okay, so number questions... Question... Number question six? Okay, so question number six. What are your life goals? Okay, so my life goals um, are probably... <laughs> so I've got another question coming up in later on in the video that will explain this question kind of um i don't know how far down it is uh but yeah um okay so basically at, at, a, at a young age i um attended a theater art school um and i carried that on all the way until last year um being 18 so i carried it on into college um, I'm actually a performing arts kid, so dancing, singing and acting has always been my thing. Um, I always imagined and pictured myself in like a big top girl group or a West End, um, kind of like a film star. I mean, that's what I've always wanted to do. That's always been like my goals um, and my dreams. Um, yeah, I've got a really big passion for singing, acting, dancing, that kind of thing. Um, I'm actually quite good at it, <laughs> uh, not being, you know, not being, I actually, yeah, I mean, you should be good at it, I've trained for years, so, um, yeah, I loved, I loved performing arts, it was amazing, it's just a really tough industry, um, you know, if you're not dedicated, if you don't eat, sleep and breathe it, there's no point doing it, um, I was dedicated, I think I just fell out of love with it, um, I kind of got into makeup and I kind of pushed it all to one side. Um, you know, makeup was 
it becomes such a big thing, you know. It's also, I feel, with performing arts and makeup industry, you've got to be, like, all in or nothing. So, you know, I can't one minute be like, oh, I'm a dancer, and the next minute be like, oh, I'm the makeup artist. You know what I mean? You've kind of got to be really dedicate, dedicated in one specific thing. Do you know what I mean? Um, listen, don't get me wrong, dancing, singing and acting, you've kind of got to be good at makeup anyway, um, because that's your trade, you know, being professional, showing up to a job, um, you've got to be, like, spotless, flawless, do you know what I mean, you, you've got to come dressed to impress, that kind of thing anyway, but, yeah, dancing, singing and acting, you've got to be really dedicated, and it's not that I wasn't, I just, like I said, I had more of a passion for makeup towards the end, um, but yeah, that was always one of my life goals, like seeing myself in like a um, little mix or something like that, like a big girl group. Um, I mean, who knows? <laughs> I'm only 19, so I'm only still really young anyway, so who knows what can happen. Um, but yeah, another life goal of mine is just to be happy, just, you know, family and friends they're all really you know important things in your life just to be happy and not worry too much I'm quite a perfectionist and I overthink a lot of things um it's it, you know that's fine like a lot of people are like that anyway that's fine to be like that and it's not a bad trait that I have but sometimes I like kind of end up killing myself over things that I shouldn't and overthink things and you know, just, just be happy and <laughs> do what you love, you know. So, yeah, anyway, enough of that. So, yeah, definitely, they're, like, my life goals. Another life goal of mine would be to live, I don't know, you know, just live the good life. <laughs> um, don't we all? Okay, question number seven. Top rated Primark products. Okay, I've been asked this so many times. I love Primark makeup. Okay, I haven't really you know, their foundations and stuff, don't get me wrong, I probably wouldn't use them on my clients just because, you know, you're, you're getting what you pay for, I can't really, you probably could use a Primark foundation on your client, but it's just a bit, yeah, you know what I mean, um, but on myself, um, and I am going to be doing a video soon actually, of a, just a hot, like a, just a complete full look of Primark products, because they are actually really good, um, yeah, so at the moment I'm loving their new highlight palette. I'm actually going to go and grab them because you can have a little look. So I am back. So I'm going to show you like my top few Primark products. Okay, so number one is one of their new products out, which is their Pure Glow Palette. Okay, so this is literally, like they've quite tried to kind of copy the... Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight palette and do you know what they've done a really good job because this palette I'm not even joking it is so good and it was a fiver anyway okay so we have the shade Desert, Glimmer, Eden and Firefly girls they're just the pigment on them you can't even really just if I I'm going to do a video, like, next week, just of using all Primark products, so, I just love this highlight palette. So, yeah, Pure Glow Highlighting Palette from Primark is definitely one of my top faves from there. Um, another top Primark product is this new custom eyeshadow palette, which I love. Okay, so they've, it's, it's just so, like, it's just so good, and they're so pigmented, and they're really, they buff out, they blend well, they're just really good. So, it's a bit messy now, but basically it's um, a magnetic eyeshadow palette and you get to choose from nine shades, not, not choose from nine shades, you get to put nine shades in the palette, obviously carbon, you've got to have a black, you've got to have a dark brown, you know like kind of a truffle sort of colour, I think that is actually called truffle, and then kind of like my beige browns that kind of look and then I also used um, I picked out some like olive greens that kind of stuff so yeah for to get your own little made palette this they're amazing I love those also the master eye palette from oh shit from Primark 
which is only six pounds only six pounds this palette's amazing like it's got the perfect colors in like you've got your bricks you've got your purples you've got like your beiges like this palette i love i you can see i use it quite a lot um and actually this purple here i used for the mermaid video that i done um when i like drew all the scales in on my face so that's the color that i used okay another primark fave of mine is got to be their lip liners like girls if you haven't tried their lip liners like go and buy some they're a pound and ugh, that's got hair on it i don't know where that's come from but lovely like literally they're so they're so nice i wouldn't buy a mac lip liner anymore just saying no literally their their lip liners are so good okay Okay, and one more product from there, um, I've got loads more, but I'm just showing you like my tops, um, is their liquid concealer. It's basically Fit Me Maybelline, do you know what I mean? It's so good. Um, this colour's like not for under eyes and stuff, I've just got like, uh, I've got thousands of these. Um, this colour is in the shade Toffee, it's medium coverage, it's really good, um, they've got a whole range variety of colours that you can choose from um, and yeah their concealer is just really nice it's really blendable um, you can warm it up on the back of your hand it's just really good concealer okay so they're like my top faves from Primark let's see what question we've got next mm, 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 mm. number eight how many brothers and sisters do you have I'm an only child, guys. Um, yeah, I've got no brothers and sisters. Uh, I'm an only child, so a bit boring. No, I'm I'm used to it. I don't know any different, so it's cool. <laughs> okay, question number nine: What makeup looks and trends do you think will be popular in 2018? Okay, that's quite that's quite a tricky one because it it varies and it just it ranges and varies from every other week to be honest i mean one minute you've got like the fluffy brow in next minute it's like the really slick instagram brows you know it's the flawless finish or it's freckle face like it's it's, it's a hard one i mean eyeshadow and stuff this year would probably be like really full like for the full look it was very like burgundy reds coppers that was already in this year wasn't it um, so maybe next year it could be like, I've got a really itchy nose, sorry. It could be like a, maybe, I don't know if you've seen the Huda Beauty palettes, the new um, mini ones. They've got like a really bright colour range coming out, uh, come out, sorry, already, they've already. Question number 10. What foundation and eyebrow products do you use on your clients? I use the same products, like obviously not the same brushes and that kind of thing but obviously they get clean anyway but this I use basically the same what I use on myself on my clients I use all of the matte concealers to carve out on my clients and um, eyebrow products I don't really use products to be honest I kind of always just stick to just an eyeshadow that matches your you know like your skin tone your hair color that kind of thing um yeah what else uh foundations I I have a mixture of foundations I've got drugstore to high end um it doesn't really bother me what foundation it is as long as it's good um as long as it sits well on your skin i mean it doesn't matter if it's 10 pounds or if it's 40 pounds do you know what i mean um i've never really been one for like oh my god you've got to have a mac kit do you know what i mean like I, i've my kits very varied i mean it's got a variety of products in from like i say primark to i don't know uh um, I can't even think like you know the top of the top like Kevin Aquan makeup do you, do you know what I mean like the same as what I use on myself okay question number 12 do I wear hair extensions okay so this has been asked a lot recently um, okay so right now I haven't got any extensions in this is all my natural hair I just nearly like pulled my scalp off <laughs> um, yeah I don't I don't tend to wear extensions on a on a day-to-day -day basis if I'm going clubbing if I'm going out somewhere that's fancy or if I just want to add some volume and thickness to my hair yes I do wear extensions and I wear the Luna Bells extensions I love them I think they're amazing I think they are synthetic I think you can curl them but I don't 
I don't tend to just because they're so cheap and I'm not going to ruin them so there's no point. Um, you, you probably get wear out of them like three or four times maybe and then buy a new packet but they're for like 20, 25 quid. Who cares? Um, Lula Bells is really good. Peaches and Cream extensions are amazing. Um, and another one, my first set of extensions was from Pink Boutique. Um, I haven't used those in a while because they are really thick. I mean, they make your hair like come out here. But yeah, I do, when I go out, wear extensions. I normally wear, um, so you can either get the weft ones that just clip in, or you can get um, from the Lula Bells website, you there's a new range they brought out that you get a packet of like five extensions um, and it's like two clips at the side and then like maybe like a tiny little weft that goes at the back and I tend to usually wear that because I don't actually my hair is quite long um, and quite thick anyway so I don't really need that many in I just like to put you know a few more in just to add thickness and volume so yes and my shade is in chestnut for those of you asking Number 13, did you attend a stage school? Okay, so this goes back to earlier about my life goals, that kind of thing. Um, yes, I did attend a stage school. I attended two. Um, my first one that I went to was Bel Canto London Academy, which was in Eltham, um, like Kent way. Um, yeah, I attended that at a really young age. I think I must have been around, God, like seven or eight, maybe? Seven or eight? Yeah, I was really young, I was a little baby, um, but that school was just incredible, that gave me all my confidence, um, the teachers and the pupils there were amazing, so that's where I really started out, I mean, before that I used to go to Saturday schools and that kind of thing, um, and then when I got to a little bit older, um, I joined Year 7 um, at Italia Conti Performing Arts Academy in London, um, I went there full time from that age, I think, oh god I was like 10 11 maybe um and I was there for what yeah around eight nine years um yeah I was there I was there for a long time um yeah and met both both amazing schools um and I carried on Italia Conti performing arts up until college um so yeah I did attend a taste of stage school <laughs> They were amazing. Oh my god, it wasn't even like a school. Like it was just so much fun. Like it was amazing, to be honest. Question number fourteen: What is your go-to eyeshadow look? Okay, so probably what I've got on today, um, like maybe a bronzy, burgundy, bricky sort of red look. I um, just very bronze. I like something that matches my bronzer, um, so it looks quite natural, but still like you've got eyeshadow on. So yeah, this is probably my go-to eyeshadow look. Um, for the day, um, but for maybe for the evening, probably something similar but with a darker brown in it, um, just to open your eyes up, like you know, like smoking them up a little bit more. Okie dokie. Uh, number 15, where do I shop and get the majority of my outfits from? Okay, so I've been asked this quite a lot. All you girls want to know where my outfits are from and stuff. And I'm actually going to start tagging them on my Instagram soon because everyone's like, where's this from? Where's that from? Um, I love high street brands. I mean, I love designer too, like bags and shoes and stuff. What girl doesn't? Um, but I love high street stuff. I mean, Pretty Little Thing is like my best friend. I order off there like every other day. <laughs> um, Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, Mistress Rocks, um... House of Celeb Boutique, O Polly, I just love O Polly. Um, yeah, if I ever like go on a night out and stuff, I'm just like da -da -da -da, O Polly, just order off there. Um, where else? Yeah, Misguided obviously, and it's opened up in Blue Water, so that's amazing. Um, around the corner. Um, what other shops? Zara, love Zara. Zara's just like everyone loves Zara. It's classy but still edgy kind of look, isn't it? So. Zara I get a lot of my clothes from, um, mm, I don't really shop in Topshop anymore, I used to but I don't really anymore, so yeah Zara, Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, Opoly, Mistress Rocks, House of Celeb Boutique, uh, mm, tracksuits and stuff, like I get a lot of my tracksuits from JD, like Nike, Adidas, mm, ASOS is quite a good website, ASOS, that's quite a good website as seen on screen what else is there Miss Pap as well Miss Pap's quite good um, but yeah Zara I just love Zara 
Number 16. How do I keep my hair so long and healthy? Um, and then question number 17 is how often do I get it cut? So I'm just going to put that question together. Okay, so how do I keep my hair so long and healthy? Um, I wash my hair probably twice, three times a week, max. It's not good for your hair to keep washing it. You know, the more you wash it, the more the nutrients are not growing in your hair. Like, it sounds really disgusting, but grease, like, having greasy hair is actually good for your hair. Um, yeah, so not washing it every day or, or as frequently as you should is better for your hair. Um, I probably get my hair cut not as much as I should. Um, the last time I had it cut, actually, was quite a while ago. I need to book in with Liv. <laughs> Luckily, my best mate's a hairdresser, so... Um, yeah, you should get it cut every six to eight weeks, they say, but I probably get it cut probably every, like, two to three months. I don't like cutting my hair. Like, I love long... My hair used to be just amazing when I was younger. Like, literally used to go under my bum, so... <laughs> yeah, I miss that, but as you get older, you kind of... I don't know, it's, you can't really, ugh. it's nice to have long hair, but if it looks unhealthy, then it, it's not. Um, I also use um, a coconut spritz from Superdrug, let me go and grab it actually. Okay, so, let me show you what I use. Okay, so to wash my hair, I use shampoo and conditioner from Aussie. It is called Take the Heat Shampoo for Heat Damaged Hair. I think I bought this just before I went on a holiday, so I've had this for quite a while now, actually. Um, but I think I just bought it because I was in sunlight and probably curling my hair like every other night, so I use that. But I always use Aussie shampoo, or I use Herbal Essences um, for like long hair. Okay, another really good thing for your hair, which I think is amazing. The only problem with this stuff it's Palmer's coconut oil. The only thing is, it makes your hair really greasy. But if you're like me and don't wash your hair like every day, it doesn't really matter. This stuff basically helps repair damaged hair, um, over processed hair, that kind of thing. So if you're curling your hair every day um, and you've got split ends, that kind of thing, this is amazing just to like spray on. And it smells so nice. Mmm. Oh my, what is wrong with this sip? Oh. Yeah, it smells really good. Um, okay, and also another thing for your hair that you should all use, especially if you've, you're putting hair uh, heat on your hair, it is a heat protect, a pr heat protectant styling spray. This is from L'Oreal Elnet. Um, and also this stuff um, holds a curl for up to three days. Yeah, spray this on before, you know, you put heat on your hair, girls. Like, it's important to protect your hair. You know, you wouldn't go out... I don't know, maybe you would. Um, it's basically like you wouldn't go out in the sun with, without, put, like, I don't know, if you're in a really hot country and you're putting... You wouldn't go and lay on the sunbed and... The sun lounge or whatever and not put an SPF on your face. I mean, some of you might. I definitely do. I always put an SPF on. Mmm, nice too. Number 18, what made me start a YouTube channel? Okay, so... I probably started my YouTube, ch YouTube channel a couple of months ago. Um, I don't know, I, I was very optimistic at first. I wasn't, I wasn't sure, I was a little bit like, should I start one? Am I going to get hate? Um, are people going to be nasty? You know what people are like, you know, not everyone's kind. Um, yeah, I was a little bit, ugh, I don't know, at first I was just a little bit like, oh, should I do this? People are going to take the piss, like, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, at first, it takes guts to start a YouTube channel, it does. Like, you're putting your, yourself on the internet, you know, you're, you're videoing and filming yourself, people, people are going to give you hate and stuff, like, it, it's just, it is going to happen. Um, but yeah, I know, I mean, I just, I was kind of sat there one day, I mean, I had all the equipment because of, obviously, I work from home and I already had the camera to take pictures of my clients, I already had the ring light, um, I've got a really good laptop, that kind of thing, so I, I already had, like, the facilities there to do it, so I was just like, why not? 
Um, my mum was going on and on, on and on at me like, do a YouTube channel, I want to watch videos of you and my mum's like my number one fan so she was like just you know get one up um, and you'll probably get so much love from it and so many people will be like oh my god this is amazing blah 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 and I actually have I've had so much you know positivity come from it um yeah YouTube's opened like a really good window for me um yeah I love I love doing my YouTube channel I need to film more I need to film more frequently um it's just so hard getting up a, a video every week because you know it takes time to edit and film and you know all that kind of stuff is <laughs> it's quite a long process but yeah I enjoy doing it um so yeah my mum probably encouraged me to start one um and then literally one day I was just like shit let's just do it <laughs> um, and I did yeah so and I'm glad I started one as well I enjoy doing them Number 19, did it involve starting a YouTube channel, sorry, did starting a YouTube channel involve any nasty comments? Um, okay, I don't want to put anyone off that's going to start one, but yes, it did. But I feel like that's everything you do in life, you know, not everyone's going to give you support and love and that kind of thing. It's, it's one of them things you've kind of just got to brush it off, like who are them, and, like who are those people anyway, why, why would you care? I mean, as I've got older, I used to really worry and um, kind of, I don't know, like I used to really overthink and worry about what people thought of me and that kind of thing, but who cares, like, it's your life at the end of the day, if you if you want to do something, then just, just go and do it. But yeah, it, it did involve a few, I used to get, like, on my one of my first videos, I think it may have been, was a, like a load of girls saying, like, oh my god, look at how ugly she is about makeup and she's got no lips and her eyebrows and this and that and she's so white why is she wearing a dark foundation the list goes on just ignore it like who cares I don't honey <laughs> okay number 20 what's this, it, the best experience I have ever had um I've had a lot of good experiences um one that I can just think of on the top of my head was probably, it sounds really weird, um, I love animals so swimming with dolphins um, in Dubai with my mum and dad was amazing, I'd done it at a, a really young age, um, I love animals so anything like that really, um, what else, that's, that's a really crap one, like loads of people have done that, um, <laughs> I can't think, the best experience. Oh god, I've got loads of things I can think of, but they might not mean anything to you. Uh, best experience? Uh, it's not really experience, it's more of a feeling. Passing my driving test. <laughs> that was like one of the best things I've ever done. It was just, oh. Girls, if whoever's watching this, or boys, if you don't drive and you're like learning to and stuff, honestly, just keep at it. It's the best thing I've ever done just gives you so much freedom um let me come back to that because i want to think of a good one but i can't think off the top of my head okay um number 21 how did you learn to do makeup okay so i've never been on a course i am self-taught um yeah i've got no qualifications for makeup uh, i just i just learn um yeah i like i learned a lot through youtube like what can't you learn on YouTube? Anything. Like, I did learn a lot from YouTube. And watching all of, like, the girls that I mentioned. And watching all of the girls that I mentioned earlier. Carly Bible, for example. Jacqueline Hill. Ty, you know, list goes on, blah, blah. Lauren Curtis, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, watching all of those at such a young age. I must have been, like, 12, 13 when I started watching YouTube channels. Um, I was addicted as well. Like, my mum used to come in and be like, Oh, you're on that bloody laptop again? And... Yeah, that's probably how I learned through YouTube. Um, watching my mum do makeup, you know, when I was obviously in performing arts, I was in a lot of West End theatre productions, um, you know, and I had to learn. I, I had to know how to do makeup anyway. Like a lot of the younger girls would come up to me and be like, "Me, will you stick my false lashes on?" And so yeah, you kind of had to know how to do it in that industry. Um, question ten, twenty, <laughs> twenty. <laughs> number question. To, uh, question number. Th ah! Question number 22, how do I curl my hair? Okay, so this is literally 
everyone is going crazy about how I do my hair. Um, and I'm going to be putting a YouTube video up on how I do it soon. Um, I literally just curl my hair with normal straighteners. I think they're from Babyliss. Um, I just curl them, curl them with the straighteners. And while they're still hot, I chuck them up into sleeping rollers. Um, I don't sleep in them. I probably... So let's, for example, if I'm going out... Let's say it's a Saturday night. I'll probably get up around eight, nine o'clock in the morning, do my hair. I'll probably wash my so I'll probably wash my hair on the Friday night, so it's all dry and stuff. Saturday morning, get up, do that routine, put my hair up. I'll probably have clients all day, and then I take it out probably half an hour before I go out, and it's just really big bouncy curls. It's, it does look lovely. So I am going to be doing a video on that. Um, what I'll do is I'll film myself doing it and then I'll leave my hair all day and then I'll come back on the camera and take it out for you so you can see what it looks like. Um, best primer and setting spray. Okay, so my best primer is probably... Um, I've got quite a few, but I love the Professional from Benefit. I love that, especially for oily skin, which I've got. Well, my skin's quite... It's combination is it's more on the oily side and my favorite setting spray would have to be I do like Mac Fi Max Fix Plus I do find that it can be very it can make you look very wet so it's good if you want a dewy finish but if you want more of that matte look then probably um, Urban Decay Urban Decay uh, setting spray is really nice actually also, another one of my favourite primers, especially for you oily skin people, um, Kiko Matte. Just hands down, so good. It fills in all your pores. You can feel it working and it makes your skin feel really smooth. So that's another good primer. Number 24, best foundation for oily skin. Okay, so it depends on what sort of coverage you want. If you're going for a flawless finish, then definitely Estee Lauder Double Wear. It is very heavy though, that's the only thing I'd... For me personally, I find it quite cakey, um, but that's probably the best foundation for oily skin. Um, flawless finish. And then maybe if you're looking for something that's not full coverage, just something that you can use day to day, definitely Bare Minerals Matte Loose Powder. Also, um, MAC Skin Finish Loose Powder is really good as well. I'm trying to think what else. Um... Amani Luminous Silk is really nice as well, I think. It's good. It's more if you want a dewy look. If you, if you have... Look, if, you're, if you've got oily skin, you can still have go for a dewy look. Obviously, you just want to be matte in the T-zone area. Um, right. Du, du, du. Question 25. How old are you? <laughs> I think I've already said this in the video, um, but I am 19 and I'm going to be 20 in April. Um, so yeah, I'm Aries, that's my star sign, I'm a little ram. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I have answered the majority of the questions. I think I had one more somewhere, let me find it. Last question. How did you become a makeup artist and did you always know that is what you wanted to do? Okay, so like I said earlier, no it's not. Um, I always pictured myself being in like a girl band, performing arts, that world. Um, but like I said, obviously, I just ended up falling in love and having a passion more for makeup. Um, and then I kind of set my own little business up. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Okay, so I think that's enough of the questions today, guys. Um, if you want to know any more, then maybe in another video I can do something similar or something a little bit different. Um, I hope you enjoyed something that was, you know, not the same as just doing makeup today. Um, and if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and let me know if you want to see these sort of videos more often, more frequently. If you want to see, like, I don't know, maybe a... A client tutorial tutorial video or like a best friend tag or that kind of thing so yeah just let me know thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next video bye see you later